everyone, Dr. Taylor from Archer Review here, and today we're talking about mixing insulin. Now this is when we take our intermediate acting, or our NPH insulin, and we mix it with a short acting, like your regular or your rapid insulin aspart, for example, is what I have commonly done most. Now there's a very specific order we do everything in, so let's talk through it. Of course, you're going to verify medication orders, double identify your client, and all that good stuff. I've already completed that for this video. Once we come in and prepare our medications, we'll perform hand hygiene and don clean gloves. I know that might seem silly because we don't even have a client in this video, but anytime we're handling medication, especially something we're going to inject in our client subcutaneously, we really, really wanna make sure we're as clean as possible. We're not putting our germs onto these medication vials. Once we've got our clean gloves on, we'll go ahead and check that we have all our supplies. We've got our insulin syringe, both vials of insulin, and two alcohol prep pads. As I've looked at my orders, I have to administer, let's say, two units of NPH and five units of my rapid acting insulin aspart. We are going to start off with taking our insulin syringe, getting that opened up, and injecting the appropriate amount of air into each of these vials. Now we need to go in a specific order. When we actually draw the medicine up, we go regular and then we go for our NPH. I can remember that because it's RN, just like registered nurse, regular NPH. But because we wanna draw up the regular first, we have to inject the air in the NPH first. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my NPH insulin out. This is my regular. This is my NPH. We're gonna uncap that. And I wanna inject the air into this guy first. So that's where I get my first alcohol pad. I open it up and I scrub the top of that. We always scrub the top of our vials just in case there's any gook on there. And then I'm gonna draw up in my syringe that two units of the NPH that I'm eventually going to draw up. So let's go to my two units right there. We're gonna put and inject that air. Okay, now go ahead and take that out. We're gonna save that for later. Now we need to take the five units of the regular and go ahead and inject it into this vial. That's where our second alcohol prep pad comes in. Again, we always scrub, scrub, scrub and let it dry and inject that five units of air. Now air has been injected into both our vials so we can draw up in the correct order, regular, and then NPH. Flip over, go ahead and draw up. We've got that five units of our regular and then NPH. We said two units of NPH. We're ready to go. We'll go ahead and place that cap. If we're preparing this outside of the client's room, we need to label, date, and time this so we know exactly what it is and go ahead and immediately administer it to our client. Now, one more quick tip before I leave you here. We always check the quality and expiration date on our insulins. These are very sensitive. All insulin should look nice and clear, except for our NPH. This insulin looks cloudy because of the particulates in there that help it last for a longer time. Remember, it's intermediate acting. So when you check out your NPH insulin before drawing it up, it should be cloudy. When you check out your regular, it should be clear. Another memory trick for you when mixing insulin is we draw up the clear, then cloudy, the regular, then the NPH. All right, hopefully that helped you with mixing insulins. Make sure to move on now to how to administer subcutaneous medications to get all of that down before you administer insulin to your clients. Thanks for watching and we'll see you back in the next video. Hi Archer nurses, Dr. Caffrey with Archer Review again. I hope you enjoyed that clinical skill video. Dr. Taylor and I had so much fun filming those for you. In fact, we filmed over 200 clinical skill videos for you so that as you guys enter clinical practice, you feel as prepared as possible. You can sign up for that complete clinical skills course using this QR code here or going to archerreview.com. There you can also sign up for the 19 other comprehensive nursing courses that we've created for you like behavioral health, pediatrics, fundamental 
fundamentals, health assessment. Our goal here is to make nursing school as simple as possible so that you guys feel prepared to enter your new career as a nurse. In the meantime, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button so you never miss an Archer Review video. Good luck, future nurses.